India has entered a new space age. Till now, there was monopoly of ISRO and the government. But now, private sector is being promoted. And to give clarity, we have Indian Space Policy 2023. Why do we need a space policy? As I told you, for decades, India's space sector was monopolized by ISRO. Private players had no clear framework or rights to build and launch satellites. Global space economy is growing fast and India wants to become self-reliant and competitive. And hence, we have brought Indian Space Policy 2023, which lays down the foundation for liberalization, privatization and innovation in India's space sector. Under the new policy, ISRO's role will purely focus on research and development, space exploration and development of advanced technology, while leaving commercial and operational activities to NSIL, New Space India Limited. Now, NSIL will act as commercial arm and handle launch services, satellite services and technology transfer to private sector players. ISRO will also have no role in regulatory activities. For that, in space will be there, the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center. It will act as a single window clearance for private companies, which will authorize satellite launches, frequency allocation, among other regulatory work. Private sector participation will enhance. Private firms can now register with InSpace and build and launch rockets operate satellites, offer communication and remote sensing services, they can use ISRO facilities at a cost. The new Space Policy 2023 will boost innovation, foreign direct investment and make India Atmanirbhar. The target is to enhance the share of Indian space revenue in the global space economy to $500 billion. The space policy supports startups, job creation and space tech leadership. So Indian space policy is not just about rockets. It's about opening up the final frontier that is space. This is a landmark reform to take India from a space faring nation to a space leader.